the 2014 graduates. I thank you for your patience. It's certainly have been a long morning of certainly great talks, and I promise to you right now that I will be short. On behalf of the University of St. Thomas, I want to express my congratulations to the first class of CIB. What a momentous occasion and what a gift it is for John Abraham and I to be here to enjoy this and to participate in this historical moment with you. We are truly honored. Let me speak to you graduates. Let me get the line to you students. T.S. Eliot said this, to do the right deed for the wrong reason is the greatest treason. To do the right deed for the wrong reason is the greatest treason. You students have done a great deed. You are the first graduates from CUIB. But for what reason have you done this deed for? Your education at CUIB, and in particular your Catholic Studies Corps, has been designed to help you think broadly and deeply about your lives, your work, your families, your country, your church. It has been designed to help you to see things whole and not simply parts. And as the first alumni of CUIB, you carry a special duty to live out this in your education. In your Search for Happiness course, you discuss the wrong turns on what can make us happy, what T.S. Eliot calls the wrong reasons. We, for example, are tempted to see our education as merely a means to our own career and personal advantage. Of course, there is nothing wrong with wanting to live better, and your education is an important resource to your economic and personal development. But as many speakers have already spoken today, money, self-interest, fame, simply creates a very small world. St. Augustine stated this over 16 years ago, and he said this, the house of my soul is too small for you to come to it, may it be enlarged by you. In your course on spirituality, you explored the importance of those spiritual paths and practices that have the capacity to enlarge your soul. I had the opportunity to meet Mother Teresa twice in my life, and one was in Calcutta. And when you meet her, or you know anything about her, you know she's a great souled woman. But when I was in Calcutta, my Hindu friend, who was my host, said, would you like to meet Mother Teresa? And so we went down there, and we went to the mother house and saw her. And when we walked into the room, my Hindu friend drops to his knees, and he's trying to kiss Mother Teresa's feet. And Mother Teresa's trying to pick him up, and he's trying to kiss her feet. And there's this wrestling match that's going on in front of me. And I have to tell you that I sat there twiddling my thumbs, and the only thought that came to my mind was, man, she has big feet. And God, is she short. And boy, is she old. And can't you think of something more profound than just simply her feet? Here I am sitting in the icon of holiness. I had a 20-minute conversation with Mother Teresa. She was delightful. She asked us questions about our lives. We asked her about questions. And as we were leaving, she gave us her business card. And this is what her business card said. The fruit of silence is prayer. The fruit of prayer is faith. The fruit of faith is love. The fruit of love is service. And the fruit of service is peace. What made Mother Teresa such an attractive woman was her capacity for receptivity. She started her day not with what she wanted, but what God wanted from her. What made Mother Teresa and all the saints display in the concreteness of their lives, and it is at the heart of the Catholic Studies project that you have been part of, is what we call the logic of gift. What Pope Benedict said, a love that is received and given. And that is why in the course that you had on church and culture, you examine the Catholic social tradition and how to explore yourself, what does it mean to live a vocation in this world? To see yourselves not simply having a career, but a calling not simply working for profit, but for purpose, and not simply entailing your own private goods, but also the common good. Again, as many speakers have pointed out, we live in a world in need of highly principled leaders who can resist the corruption, but who build institutions to make this world a better place. So God bless you graduates, God bless CUIB, God bless the Cameroon, and God bless the church. Thank you.